a while back i showed you guys how to make discord buttons and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can make discord buttons using next chord in my opinion this is the next library after discord.py there have been some people saying pi chord is better you can choose whatever you want but i'll be making videos on next chord if you want to see how you can set up next chord for yourself watch my last video on selects and drop downs i show you guys how you can set that up it's pretty easy anyways let's get straight into the video So here we are in my Visual Studio code. If you use PyCharm, that's fine. Just change it up. So first, we can start off by adding a class. Now, for any interaction that you're gonna be requiring a class, we're gonna call the class. I don't know anything you really want. We can do confirm. Confirm. We'll actually subscribe. And then add next chord dot UI dot view. And this should actually be a capital V. And then what you want to do after that is actually just define something. So you want to do, wait, what, okay. Def and then underscore underscore init, which kind of mean, which basically means like initialize. And then add super dot initialize or init, whatever you call it. And then self dot value equals none, and this just sets it as that because we will be using it later. Now what you want to do is break out of the function and actually add a decorator. Making buttons is a lot simpler than making selects, and all it is is just adding next chord dot ui dot button. Now over here you could customize it. So if you want to add a label, I'm gonna add it subscribe because you guys should subscribe honestly please subscribe and then we can add style now this will have the but this is how the button will actually look i'm gonna do subscribe as in green because green kind of means right and you guys should subscribe so yeah next chord dot ui no not next word dot ui sorry button style you I can't spell. Now you can see a couple here. Uh, you can do blurple. You can do gray. You can do green. You can do. I mean, there are two types of gray, I guess. And you can do red. We're gonna need green, so I'm just gonna click on green. And then do async def confirm. And then this is like the actual function for the button. Now actually, we gotta change this. Subscribe. And then do self button button. I am so bad at spelling. Sorry. I don't know why. Bro. Please fix this in editing. Okay. Button and then do next chord UI button, just like here. Exactly what we did over here, but instead of you put in button, and then do interaction is next chord dot interaction because buttons do count as interactions now you can do await interaction dot response dot send underscore message which will send a message now you can make this message anything you want so if you want it to be like yes if you want it to be no if you want it to be maybe you can do any of that I'm going to do subscribe to glow stick because you guys should subscribe. Please subscribe. And then I'm going to actually add a comma. And now this is inferior. Inferior is basically if you want it to be an interaction and there's like interaction as in like you can only see the message or if you want it to be like everybody can see the message. I'm going to do just I'm gonna keep it a false, but you could keep it a true if you're the one who wants to only see it. Like if you have a password command and you only want the user to see it, I suggest you do false. I mean true, so true. And then you wanna we're gonna add a value to this, so you can make this uh, just do self dot value equals true. Now this can we can actually like recognize whatever the whatever the player clicked, and then do self. Now what we use this for 
is so we can actually define it so like let's say if you click one certain button it will send a certain commitment or do a certain series of commands because over here you can only send a message you can't like run a function off of this using this we can actually have it run a function so i went ahead and did the second one it just says don't subscribe i guess and yeah that's basically it And basically, yeah, I just didn't want to bore you through it. Now, that's it for the class. What we can do is go to client.command. And then, as a decorator, and then do async def. And let's just say sub as, I guess, our command. Pass in ctx, and that's all we're going to need to pass in. And then, we can do view equals... And whatever you call the class so I call it subscribe let's do that make sure you don't have anything else called subscribe it's fine if your labels call it subscribe or something like this but make sure like all the capitals so if this is capitalized then you're okay if this is capitalized then we have a problem because then the Python code's gonna say which one should I use and then do await ctx.send and then um Let's just add in a question, you know, like above the buttons, which should be it. I'm going to keep, like if I can spell it, no, you know, what? I'm going all in now. I did it. We're doing it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, I think it's subscribe. Guys, you guys should subscribe. And then do view. Wait. Oh, wait. View dot. Wait, now this will actually wait for you to, you guessed it, click a button. Now here's what I am. I was talking about over here, where you can set it to whatever you guys want. Okay, I swear to god this was set to actually, yeah, false. I, I messed up, sorry. You can set this, this is when we put in an if statement, and actually, like, if this is clicked, we can run a function, or we can just send something in chat. So, we want to add an if statement here, saying if view.value value is none oh no return yes what that would do is just if it runs out of time or like what do you call it it passes five minutes then it will just cancel everything to get all together i said that's pretty good you know it just lets you know or you could have it a print statement saying timed out now we can do elif view dot value and then just add let's say oh wait oh no okay something random like that uh this can be anything and because we don't have to add anything after because this would automatically set it to true so we could just say okay if it's true this automatically does it and then you can add like something similar by adding an else statement so if it's not this and it's not like true then it has to be false right good job right so and then we can just say same thing no actually this is say haha because you guys will see later on or some of you guys might have already seen but anyways let's hop onto discord and run this command okay so here we are on our discord um Link down below in the description. Uh, some of the older links are outdated, so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, please join. I'm trying to get to 600 subscribers, right? Members. And now we can just do the sub as the command. And then over here, I should say sub Kai, of course. And you guys want to subscribe, so hit that. Okay, hit that red button on YouTube and green button on Discord. And it says subscribe to Glow Sick Let's Go, you sub. But now if you try to click don't subscribe, it won't work. And the reason that is, is because we actually did self.stop, which automatically stops the whole command and it prevents you from putting in any other buttons. So it's not really an error, just but nothing will happen. It will just say this interaction failed. If you do the other one too, same thing. This just prevents spam and I highly suggest this if it's just one thing. If you're making reaction rules, don't do this. It's not good. Now, if we run it again, you can see, let's click don't subscribe this time. And then it says, okay, subscribing to glow stick, haha. You guys just got pranked. How do you feel? You have no choice, but you have to subscribe. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. 
just use the help channels please don't ping me like 30 times 30 000 times it gets really annoying but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed until next time glow stick out see ya